Today I'm going to take you through a, a simple example of building recording to demonstrate some of the basic principles. So we have here a small two-cell building that has a door at either end. And the aim is to produce a plan and elevations of the structure as it is now, as well as a short written description and photographic record. The tools I have with me today include two 50 meter open reel tapes, some plastic pegs, a plumb bob on a line, a small bag of masonry nails and a hammer, several hand tapes, a reel of bricklayer's line, a line level to set it up level, a laser disto for measuring distances. This one's quite an old model and the ones you can get now are much smaller but this will still do the job. And finally a notebook and pen. To record the plan pegs have been set out around the building so that a network of triangles can be measured and later drawn to show where the corners of the building are. These are formed by tapes running from the pegs and by measuring the length of each elevation. So the first thing I've done is uh, a little sketch survey of the ground plan in my notebook. And then from the pegs we've set out, the tapes are attached to the pegs and we're going to do two measurements to each corner so that later on we can draw those corners in by drawing arcs and where the lines cross, that's where the corner is. So we'll start with this one first. Okay, 512 centimetres or 5 metres 12, okay? And this is 3 metres 22. 3 metres 22. Now we're going to move them across to this corner. So that's 2 metres 95. And when we pull the other one tight, that is five meters twenty-three. Okay, five meters twenty-three. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure the length of each of the walls using the distor. This has a a very clever little hook at the back that you can hook around the corner. So the disto, work, the disto works by firing a laser beam and calculating how much time it takes for the, the beam to be reflected back and from that it calculates distance. So if I give you that. Now I'm just going to use the notebook as a target so it's flat against this corner. You line up with me. Down a bit. Okay. One meters. So 3.101 meters. Okay. And this process is continued until the ground plan is complete. So now that we've recorded the plan, the next thing to do is to record each elevation. And we're not going to simply measure up from the ground because the, the ground isn't level around the building. So I'm going to set up a horizontal datum line right around it using bricklayer's line. So I've put a a small masonry nail into a brick joint on the corner and then I'm going to stretch this line out along the, the wall and have a small line level here that hooks over the line and that will help me set it up horizontally. Hook the line level over it and then move it up and down until the bubble is in the centre and I'm going to pull this line around the corner and find a, a suitable place just to put a small masonry nail into a brick joint again. And I can tie this line off. And we'll be ready to make measurements on this elevation. The most accurate way to take your measurements up and down would be to measure along the datum line and then up and down using a plumb bob 
how accurately you choose to measure an elevation is going to depend on, on how complex the structure is that you're recording, what scale you intend to use it as, and uh, sometimes just how much time you've got available. So the next thing to do is to make a photographic record of the building. So I'm going to photograph each of the elevations and any internal detail as well, although there's very little in this case. So I've set up my camera approximately central to the wall and I have a little two-way spirit level here that I'm going to stick on the top of the camera so that I can have it set up approximately level in two planes. Just needs a little bit of adjustment. So I'll turn the camera on. And you can see it just needs to go down a little bit to get the whole height of the building in. Turn down slightly like that. There we are. And that's the first photograph taken. And I'm going to continue and do that right around the building. The position and orientation of each of the photographs is then marked on a sketch drawing. A brief written record of the building materials and any features was also made to add to the site record.